So if we do not take necessary action when the technology moves ahead and people start traveling across more frequently, it becomes it's not a question of if and but, but it's an essential requirement. Even Aeronautical Society of India also is trying to do the system engineering job of bringing people from all the different sectors. The real challenge is to make things happen at a faster pace than what is envisaged. So currently I have joined by Dr. A.S. Kiran Kumar, who is the former chairman of ISRO and currently the president of Aeronautical Society of India. Uh, so thank you so much, first of all, for sparing your time. And currently uh, everybody is talking about sustainability, the sustainable aviation fuel. And uh, my question is that for a country like India, how important is is it to now we have initiated a talks of course the roadmap is ahead uh, of us but how important is to quickly grab it and put it into the implementation process see as you can see india is among the very populous countries and also the need for uh, aviation sector in the country the number of people using the air industry is increasing at such a pace with so many airports coming up and uh, the air privatization of uh, even Air India and all that. So, and what we are seeing today globally, the climate change impact we are seeing in our day-to-day -day lives. So, if we do not take necessary action when the technology moves ahead and people start traveling across more frequently, it becomes, it's not a question of if and but, but it's an essential requirement and everything that is required to be done has to be thought of and uh, moved ahead. So that's where even Aer Aeronautical Society of India also is trying to do the system engineering job of bringing people from all the different sectors and trying to bring it to the government. And Niti Aayog's um, member itself is one of the strong proponents because he was also the president of AASA earlier. So the real issue is that we do not have options today. Mm -hmm. If planet has to survive and climate change should not cause uh, yeah, uh, you can say irreparable damages to survivability on the land if ocean levels grow up grow higher we have many regions coastal regions going to actually submerge so we cannot afford that so in that context all of us need to put our head together and work towards making these things happen uh, all the eminent speakers talked about the challenges. According to you, what is the most prominent challenge that we are looking at actual uh, uh, envision, uh, envisioning this uh, whole process and uh, to go ahead and further the initiative of sustainability in aviation? No, the real challenge is to make things happen at a faster pace than what is envisaged. As we can see, we are already quite late in the climate change impact. So the essential thing is we need to see how quickly we can set reach those targets like for example even 20 percent blending in the general area six months ahead it was done in the same way probably 50 percent blending in 2050 maybe is too far mm -hmm. we should target it much earlier and it's only with the concentrated effort that it'll happen yep. as more and more people realize the need mm -hmm. things will happen mm -hmm.